Here's a modern day phone. Recognize it? Here's a phone from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Stay with me. Here's a car from today. And here's a car from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Well, get this. Here's a classroom of today. And here's a class we used 150 years ago. Now, ain't that a shame? In literally more than a century, nothing has changed. Yet you claim to prepare students for the future? But with evidence like that, I must ask, do you prepare students for the future or the past? I did a background check on you and let the record show that you were made to train people to work in factories, which explains why you put students in straight rows, nice and neat, tell them sit still, raise your hand if you want to speak, give them a short break to eat, and for eight hours a day, tell them what to think. Oh, and make them compete to get an A. A letter which determines product quality, hence grade A of meat. I get it. Back then, times were different. We all have a past. I myself am no Gandhi. But today, we don't need to make robot zombies. The world has progressed. And now we need people who think creatively, innovatively, critically, independently with the ability to connect. See, every scientist will tell you that no two brains are the same. And every parent with two or more children will confirm that claim. So please explain why you treat students like cookie cutter frames or snapback hats, giving them this one size fits all crap. Exhibit A. Age of Aquarius, where the truth is more disturbing than the lie. Th I thank this brother for posting this because the truth is right before your face. But we fail to acknowledge it because of our own selfish personal feelings. That's just being honest. Our children are suffering. You have suffered, but you have developed Stockholm Syndrome and you have found a way to separate yourself uh, from the reality in which you and your people are suffering, our people. This is this is absolutely crazy, and this is the absolute truth. And I'm just going to play the beginning so you can get the gist of this for the people in the back that says you need your education in order to be successful. Successful at what and for who? Here's a modern-day phone. Recognize it? Here's a phone from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Stay with me. Here's a car from today. And here's a car from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Well, get this. Here's a classroom of today. And here's a class we used 150 years ago. Now, ain't that a shame? In literally more than a century, nothing has changed.